we are coming up uh, as we record this and as it releases about a week from the airing of the 1000th episode of impact which is yep. like crazy to think about as we're, we're covering like 69 to 71 i think on this episode and this is 2005 and they're all the way up to 1000 1,000 episodes of television Impact slash TNA has produced over the last 19 years since Impact launched in June 2004. And, like, I feel like that's a, an achievement, like, you shouldn't undersell in any way. That's a lot of episodes of TV. I wonder where that would put them in, like, all-time rankings of television shows with number of episodes. There's a, a bunch of shows, obviously, that, like, soap operas that air daily that mm. you know cultural institutions that have been running from the 60s 50s uh, that would have run up the numbers in that regard which is the reason like you can mock WWE for saying weekly episodic but it, it is one of those things where it's like it's a different category than daily talk show or soap opera or like Jerry Springer or, or anything that has like a, a more frequent cadence than like a weekly scripted television show because mm -hmm. like a weekly scripted television show going that long there's like Doctor Who which I'm not sure is that even up to a thousand episodes it might be I'm that's been going that. ages what else what other shows ran the for... Simpsons the Simpsons is a, is a good one that's run since the 90s I'm sure that's over a thousand episodes at I mean stage. you could go into like it's probably like anime stuff right yeah and anime really runs up the score because like there's a lot of shows and they do run more than once a week and like Pokemon would be another one that is obviously like One probably. Piece has 1071 episodes so it's a little bit ahead of impact but, but One Piece will probably die quicker so you'll be fine <laughs> um, Doctor Who has 862 episodes uh, episodes yeah because they would have run shorter seasons uh, and more intermittently especially in recent years but yeah so so impact has only been going since 2004 and has over a thousand doctor who's been going since like the 50s and it does it does it hasn't even reached a thousand so what does that say huh i'm looking at sand mansion uh, you're finding international shows uh aka our little sandman or the little sandman mm. um has over 22,000 episodes <laughs> what the fuck 61 seasons yeah um then you know these are all so these are all your soaps now after that soaps and game shows yeah which obviously run daily generally or multiple they, times a week at least the, uh, a show called blue peter that's a, a children's show in the uk that yeah. uh that has 5173 episodes that's quite a feat can you imagine making that many of like we're on 42 of these and that seems Sesame like a lot street oh yeah of course uh, 4,600. Mm. I'm looking for, like, stuff that isn't a soap opera or a children's show, because, like, children's shows seem to be the most... Oh, it just ends. <laughs> Do you have to go to a separate page? Yeah, I can't find weekly episodic. <laughs> it's because it's actually a made-up category for WWE. I know, but, like, it, what, how else would you describe it? Uh, scripted shows. The, like, Sesame okay. Street is scripted, so that doesn't really count. Well, that, well, that one, that would would be a legitimate contender for the top. Elmo's not shooting. <laughs> what would Elmo shoot about? You're taking the, the uh, work with a script in TEW for Elmo. Imagine doing like Sesame Street TEW. You're, put, you're putting together your <laughs> episodes of Sesame Street. All Oscar right. the Grouch is like, I haven't been used well lately. Well, let me tell you right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dirty Roar is not on this Wikipedia. You're number one. This is incorrect. <laughs> oh, Why? these are primetime television series in the US. What's number one there? The Simpsons. That makes sense. 750. Then is Law that and Order. Is that 750? Apparently. I guess it, it is like they 22 episode seasons. Yeah. Yeah. 750. They... So, you know, two, you got 250 on The Simpsons. Yeah. Fuck you, Homer. Law and Order SVU. Fuck you, Bells. And then Law the... and Order. Maybe he's in the first. Or do you Law and Order? I don't then know. Then Family Guy. It seems today. Gunsmoke. Yeah, that was one that I think WWE made like a big deal when they overtook Gunsmoke at some stage. Well, I don't know why Law and Order is ranked above this because Gunsmoke has more than Law and Order. You you have issues with the Wikipedia page here. I mean, like, what 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 what, what are we doing here? You know, what are we what are we? Lassie. That dog kept on saving people from wells. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. You would think you'd get sick of the dog being bark barked down the well, but God, it gets you every time. 591 episodes later. <laughs> yeah. Eventually yeah. Lassie gets stuck in the well and dies. What's the stupidest one in here? The fact that Bob's Burgers is ranked, it makes me old. Isn't that only like five seasons? Thirteen seasons. Really? That's like when you realize Bones has been running for like 16 seasons. It's not anymore. Bones but... is dead. 
you know, when Bones was still on the air and you'd look at it as like it's in season fucking 14 or Supernatural was another one that you're just like, how are they still doing this? <laughs> There's a bunch of bullshit. Smallville's on here? I like Smallville. I've never seen it. One of my favorite shows growing up. You're going to call it a kid show and people are going to get mad at you. Well, it is. But it started on like the C-dub as very much an aimed at teen show and then kind of grew out of it as, as its audience grew up. Well, let me tell you, Garrett, mm. of everything on here, Impact beats it. Yeah. And listen, it's very easy to dis- to say that, that, that they said it wouldn't last a week. <laughs> they mm-hmm, said it mm-hmm. wouldn't last a month. But you go back and read those observers and fucking Dave Meltzer said it wouldn't last a week. <laughs> So true. there we are, a thousand episodes down the line. It's it's a lot of episodes. It's to be commended. It's a lot of good episodes and a lot of bad episodes and a lot of just episodes of wrestling television. What's the longest running wrestling television show? Is it Raw at this stage or is it like still Saturday night? Um, It is an Argentinian. <laughs> oh, like that's currently running? Well, because this Argentinian promotion ran from 1962 to 1988. Hmm, I know, like, Memphis ran for ages in various incarnations. Oh, sorry, that was just the 19. Put them all in the same god... Whatever. (laughs) Why wouldn't it all be in the same one? (laughs) This is not sort of good. The second they took moves out of the wrestling Wikipedia, it all just went to shit. Um, well, Garrett. Yes. Your, um, Wikipedia list impact as having 989 episodes. Updated. There was so many bad... I was counting those episodes. And like Cage Match was a few off. Wikipedia, it didn't actually cite the number for anything. It just had a number on the page, which was also wrong. There was an, another... Uh, the Smackdown Hotel, I think, is a wiki. Uh, I think mm-hmm. that's the name of it. Also it wrong. <laughs> they were all slightly wrong. So literally when working out which episode was actually Impact 1000, I had to fucking count them manually, you pieces of shit. Well, Garrett. Yes. You'll be ecstatic to know. Fucking wait. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think one, two, three, four. Documented. I think mm-hmm. this is the fourth most amount of episodes. Uh, Raw SmackDown. What else is what's what else is there? Um, well, in twenty-four episodes, Garrett. Yeah. Impact will become the third most amount of television shows in wrestling history, according to this one Wikipedia page. Uh but you just gotta be WWE bottom line and WWE Afterburn. What? <laughs> which have 1,023 episodes each. They had... Oh, because they're, they're the same show, aren't they? But they're branded differently in different regions. Um... Hmm. Because it would be very weird for them to have the exact same number oh, of no, episodes. Oh, no, it's still running, Gary. You need Afterburn and <laughs> and Bottom Line to die first. Yeah, every so often. I sent you a clip of Scott Stanford from doing an episode of Afterburn or whatever. And I, I, it was actually when they were celebrating a thousand, wasn't it? He was like, a thousand episodes mm-hmm. of Afterburn. Scott Stanford still here somehow in WWE's headquarters being paid to host things long after the, my peak of the run at, on, on <laughs> Zack Ryder's internet show. I like Scott Stanford because he's clearly very aware of the bullshit. Yeah. Afterburn was like the most prominent pro wrestling show in Australia for a while. Oh, because it was like just the only one on TV? It was It was the only one on free TV. Afterburn never even had matches though, did it? It was like highlights. Um, and then it was like called W Experience here or something for a bit. Because that's what like Heat and Velocity were all mostly highlights, but did usually have an original match. Yeah, there, there was no original matches. It's just like recaps and highlights of Roar and SmackDown. Yeah, at the start they were their actual shows, but then slowly became less actual shows with just a Val Venus match for some reason. Um, <laughs> but but Afterburn never even got that. And Afterburn's still here, so clearly people don't want original content. They just want highlights. Exactly. All right, Garrett, I have a game for you. And you should be able to ace this. Mm. Every streaming platform that has hosted TNA Impact in America, I guess, specifically. Oh, all the television networks? No, every streaming network. What streaming networks have hosted TNA Impact? It's been on iTunes. Okay. But like, I want everything, so go. You used to be able to buy individual episodes of Impact on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Global Wrestling Network. Okay, I, I also want the TV here. Come on, give me everything. I'm just not specifying TV because there were errors where they were on other platforms. They started on Fox Sports Net. Yes. Then moved to Real Player. Yes. <laughs> then Spike TV for a very long time. You've missed one. Oh, well, well, does it have like the Sunshine Network in there? It has Urban America Television. Yeah, that's one of the places that aired in syndication during the summer. Mm-hmm. Then there's Spike. Yes. Then we had our Destination America days. 
a wonderful run. Just a it was look it was looked like it was gonna be a good time to be a pro wrestling fan, baby. It lasted a year. Last lasted like four months. I wanted that ROH double shot. That's all I wanted. Then we had our friends at Pop. Mm-hmm. Then we had Pursuit slash Twitch. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I wanted that Twitch drop. <laughs> yeah, because Lord knows if it was just Pursuit, no one on Earth would have watched it. And now we're on the, the wonderful, amazing, just all-time great network, Access TV. Everyone, watch Access. Yeah, you, you can also watch New Japan. You can watch New Japan. You know what else you can watch on Access? <laughs> Gary. You can watch episodes of Hot Ones. You can you can watch some music festivals at certain points. There's a lot of music. It is a, a music focused network in general. You can watch the big interview with Dan Rather. Mm. You can watch Rock and Roll Road Trip with Sammy Hagar. Mm, all the stars. Real Money with Eddie Money. Uh, wordplay. The top ten revealed. Yeah, very very the best very of the 80s. very best of the seventies. Oh, you went for 70s. I was so upset that I nearly named the very, very best of the 80s. I know the network content. I'm a pro. The X Factor UK. Ooh, Simon Cowell being a cunt. Trunk Fest with Eddie Trunk. <laughs> Wordplay. Paul Schaefer plus one. He has a guest. And that guest was Sammy Hagar at one point. That's cross-branded. Network Synergy, baby. Invicta FC. MMA. Propellum Boxing. Wahlburgers. Mm-hmm. Uh, a show that my mother would have been very pleased to know that was on this network. LA Inc. Yeah. Wasn't that old Spike too? Let me just have a look. LA Inc. What am I thinking? Like Ink Masters or something like that. Uh, Ink Masters was Spike. Yeah, so that's probably what I'm thinking These about. are all shows I grew up on because mm. my parents would constantly watch them. But yeah, you know where it is now though, guys. Yeah. Where? Access TV. <laughs> 25 minutes in, probably could do something at this point, right?